Evening YouTube, it is me, your humble reviewer Rob Brenlow. I was meant to do this on Sunday, but um, I didn't because Doctor Who was on and I did that review instead. <clears throat> but uh, basically on Saturday night, no, till like Friday night, me and my wife, we went and saw Hunger Games 2 catching fire. And uh, like I said, I was meant to do a review of it on Saturday, but I completely forgot about it. And then Doctor Who came on, and I just remembered it a minute ago, so I'm doing this now. So, um, <clears throat> I tried to get away with watching the, not trying not to watch the first one. Because from, I was originally told that it was like, a little bit like Twilight. But after much convincing and seeing sort of a bit here and a bit there, I actually watched the first one. And I thought it was alright. Then uh, the second one came out, and then it all went wrong. Now, the film is okay if you're big. If you've read the books, and you've seen the first film, and you like it, then by all means go ahead and watch it. If you haven't though, um, I'm not going to give you any spoilers because I only watched both films once, so you know I can't really do that much in the way of spoilers um how can i put this my main problem with the film is um the character of katniss now she's meant to be this very don't get me wrong the actress who plays her is um she plays mystique in x-men first lawrence. sorry jennifer lawrence i'm just told by my wife um, she plays her actually very like a very unemotional character very well, and like I said, she was Mystique in X Men First Class, and she plays an emotional character as good. But the character of Katniss is very unlikable, in my mind. I mean that for instance in the first film slash book, um, you know she volunteers so that her sister doesn't have to go in and basically get killed. Um, Ew, what the hell is that? <laughs> don't know what that was. That's just I'm bleeding. Great. Um Yeah, so she volunteers to go into Hunger Games and she wins with the boy called Peter, who is about as emotion emotional as a stick of rock. God I'm really am bleeding, yeah. Ew. Anyway, um and then the idea being is that uh she's effectively started a revolution by not actually killing off the other person and basically keeping everything going in the way that it has been doing it. So it was literally every year one person won and then it just continued cycling around. But this time, because two people won, they're kind of like, hmm, what the hell do we do? And that's where the problem comes in. And uh, from there onward, she's kind of forced to live a life that she doesn't particularly want to. The other thing as well, is that um, the character President Snow, played by Donald Sutherland, he's actually very good. I've seen him in a few films, and uh, yeah, I actually quite like him as an actor. But the problem, like I said, the problem I have is with the character of Katniss. At the very end, yeah, you know, she gets uh, covered in poison fog, which washes off easily in water. That causes boils all over you really quickly. Um. Because let's be honest, if you get caught in fog, water is the is the obvious answer. Bear in mind, fog is part water based, so I don't see how that happens. Um. Then you've got the people that she hangs around, that she has to hang with. They're equally irritating. Woody Harrelson's character. What's his name? Hamish. Hamish. He's okay. He's effectively just, he was someone who was in the in the games pre a long time ago, and he's kind of um, become an alcoholic because of it, and that's yeah you know, how he deals with it, and he he knows what he has to do to basically make sure these two survive. Um, and at the uh, halfway through the film, there's a scene where they go and um, try and find what this island is in the middle of the actual arena. And it's like a clock, so it's got obviously each point. So you got the main piece, in, the uh, main dial in the middle, 
Then you've got each one branches off into like the points of a clock, and then you've got um the bay around the edge, and then obviously the actual center turns. Sort of. I'm actually turning my hands to the right. I don't know why this mirrors. If someone can tell me why, that'd be really handy. Um, I'm still bleeding. Um, so basically, yeah, for every hour, something help something else happens. So for instance, they have uh fog, uh blood rain, monkeys. Uh, a tidal wave, lightning, and that's about it, really. So, you know, they've still got another was seven to go, which they never actually show you. Which is, huh? Well, the birds. Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, birds as well. So about six, about half of it is okay, and half of it's not. Ideally, you just want to be on the opposite side of where you are, basically. Um, and at the end, she, all the um previous winners end up having to come back and take part when they really don't want to, and they were told they'd be they wouldn't have to. So they're naturally all pissed off, and then suddenly she's like, "Oh yeah, we're friends with all these people." And it's kind of oh, okay. Uh, one's a a tech tech bloke who constantly carries around the roll of copper coil with him and it's just oh god and then in the end they manage she destroys the dome with a bolt of lightning and then suddenly she's picked up like you know uh like uh russell crow at the end of gladiator and they pick him up and they take him away and you know that sort of stuff and she's like yeah i hate all of you but you lot are all helping me and i just can't oh there's two more films to go i probably will go and see them because Sorry? Yeah, apparently I am going to go see them. Um, you know, I will say that I've seen... I refuse to watch Twilight. Don't ever ask me to watch that. And that goes out to you as well. And all of you, don't ever more ask me to watch it. I will punch you in the face. And I mean that. Um, in a nice way. So, my final thoughts on this, because I've nearly run out of time... Hunger Games Catching Fire, if you liked it, if you liked the books, if you liked the first film, go and watch it. If you don't, and you've never seen or read them, go with it with an open mind. If you have seen the first one and didn't like it, and you have a girlfriend, slash wife, slash fiancé, who likes it, my only words are, you're screwed. You're going to have to go and watch it anyway. So just, you know, buy some beer and just drink it before you go. Take your iPod iPhone, whatever you want, just take it with you and just sit in the corner and just let the wife, girlfriend, fiance just watch it and then just take in bits when you need to. Okay, now I'm gonna head off, but I have, I have, sorry, my English is terrible today. Um, it's been a long day. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more reviews, so I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. That's my list. There you go. I don't want you to get too far into it, but I will be doing more reviews. I've actually got quite a lot to do. I've got 14 reviews. Bloody hell, where have I been? Where have I written that down? Anyway, so I'm going to be doing them at some point, in probably one, back on uh, Saturdays. So you might see me again on Saturday, which will. I don't know what I'm going to do at the moment, but I have got a nice long list of 14 options. So have fun, have a good week. And I'll see you on Saturday. Rock on.